What's up, YouTube? YouTubers. I hope everybody's addicted to YouTube like I am. I just like the content. It's an absolutely amazing platform. Anyways, today is the 580 Huina Excavator. All metal with upgrades. Not fully upgraded, but it does have upgrades, people. And I'm going to tell you now that a few things on this one are different than the stock ones everyone else on the planet is driving. Let me show you. Let's turn this, this bad boy on. Controller first, always in the RC world. Uh-oh. Maybe I didn't hook up the battery. Oh, yep, see, fail. Oh, well. I ain't always the brightest or sharpest crayon in the box. That's okay. Everybody has their moments. There we go. So we're gonna kill the sound. Now I'm gonna say this right now. I got some battery charging. That's what the noise is in the back. And we're gonna go try to run the laser nut on some 4S and the X Max on some 6S. I got another video coming about that with the ESC and the red blinking light of death, people. I'm not convinced that your ESC is dead with a red blinking light of death. I'm not. And this x match right here is proof of that. But we'll talk about that later. So this one here, on your all's excavator, if you push this forward, this should move, but I'm not. I'm gonna push this one. I'm gonna pull it back. And then I'm gonna push this one forward and my arm's gonna go out. And back in. Bucket's still the same. And the spin is still the same. This is set up as a John Deere. I know there's a technical name for it. I don't know what it is. In my world, being in construction, 25 plus years, you're either a cat or you're a deer driver. Across all platforms of excavators, people. Okay? So I'm just saying. RC After Dark, Mr. YouTube guy himself, Jim, man's a legend. Takes this right here. Let's lower this down. Because down, oh, um, the way I look at it is down is down and up is up. As the way it is on the real ones. But he's going to show you all, if you watch his video on the upgrades for this, here machine, is he's going to come in right through here. After you disassemble everything, you show you how to get this arm to stand up higher to get more reach. Because right now, if you take this one all the way up, as high as it'll go, whoops, we have from here to here is 18 and 7 eighths. Okay. He shows you how to get a little bit higher than that. Now I did change out this servo, this linear actuator, which is this one here. It's just sloppy. And with the limits that are in, there's a magnet here and these right here, if it comes apart, let me show you all here. This right here, This are your limit switches. You focus camera. Maybe not. Oh well. Well, anyways, there now the focus. That's your limit switch. So the magnet in here, right about here. 
such as it gets close enough to this switch right here and tells it to stop, which is about right there. So you're almost at a perfect 90. I wasn't into that. I want to be a little bit closer. So you just gotta pay attention to where you're driving. But I do have the limit switch is still hooked up. Oh, I gotta tighten that up. My arm. My limit switches are still active on the bucket because this actuator here can overextend sometimes, which isn't very good. So I'll go through all of that probably on a separate video and show you all how I did that if you all want. Just want to give a super mad shout out to RC After Dark, RC Thunder, Rich Duper Bash. You guys want to see some serious bashing. You watch those two guys right there. Holy crap. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You gotta check them out. They're amazing. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me the thumbs up. Need to get into that algorithm, people. Just want to share some content with the RC world.